What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be another review and unboxing video, but today it's actually gonna be another Nintendo controller. Uh, just got it, just came out recently. Uh, it's the 8-Bit Do N30 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller for the NES. Now guys, I've been waiting for this to come out. I pre-ordered actually back at the beginning of the year. So I can't wait to open this up guys, show you what it's all about, and also uh, show you some gameplay footage and just kind of test it out and see how it is. So I'm pretty excited. So without further ado guys, here we go. All right guys, let's get into the unboxing video. So basically what's included is the actual controller, obviously, and then also your receiver. Um, comes with a suction manual and a charging cable as well. Um, but what's cool about this, again, is that you actually have uh, opportunity to play your NES for the comfort of your couch, uh, even if it's like six feet away or whatever. So I uh, definitely can't wait to try it out. So let's open this up and check it out. Oh, okay, so uh, what this looks like actually is like the other version I have for the NAS Mini So I know that one works perfectly. So I'm glad to see that they went kind of went with the same style here Now they get the receiver out. So this is actually the original NES port. I don't know if you can see that there So this doesn't have a pairing button because it automatically pairs to the 2.4 gigahertz controller uh, So you have to worry about that um, But it's pretty neat little package here. It's pretty sturdy. It's solid So you don't have to worry about it maybe being flimsy or cheap or like that. So I'm gonna set this to the side here all right, let's take a look at the controller now. So, uh, as you can see here, it's the same styling as the original controller here. So it's kind of a rectangle, a little boxy uh, shape here. Uh, you do have your A and B buttons, and also you do have your turbo A and turbo B buttons. Start, select, home, and then directional pad. Now everything feels really good, really solid. Um, like I said, they usually make pretty good controllers. Um, so I'm excited to try it out. So I'll tell you what, guys, uh, everything else in here obviously is your um, instruction manual and your charging cable so let's go ahead and set this aside and let's hook it up to the nes and let's play some games all right guys so first game up is going to be uh, metal gear on the original nes uh, now the controller itself feels uh, pretty good in the hands um the buttons feel good uh what well, geronimo dropping down dropping down anyways uh so basically um guys uh again like i said this controller is a wireless controller so uh, you don't actually have to sit super close to the uh, TV like uh, back in the day. So, um, you know, right now I'm sitting down on my couch here in the man cave. Uh, of course, the game's on the TV, uh, but maybe about like, yeah, I would say about three feet, four feet away from me. So, um, I'll tell you what. So, let me uh, quit talking here and let's get into it. Uh, playing a little bit of Metal Gear. Uh, it's one of my uh, favorite games here. My franchises as well. Uh, favorite franchises uh, that I've played in the past. So, uh, let me get into it here and... All right, let's go. So guys, I haven't played this in a long time, so if I'm not very good, I do apologize, but just bear with me here. Oh, so you're asleep, huh? Let me sneak up behind you and get you. Yeah, so uh, again, uh, like I said, guys, if you've never played Metal Gear in general, Metal Gear Solid or uh, any of the newer games or uh, this Metal Gear, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, basically, you know, oh, hold on. Wait, let me get, the, get these uh, let me see, dogs here, okay? Uh, well, they got me. So, like I said, guys, I haven't played this game in a while. So, um, you know, just kind of tr test them in luck here. Now, let's try this again. So, basically, guys, uh, like I said, the controller uh, feels great. Uh, feels like the original uh, NES controller as well. Um, you know, the little, uh, I guess you would say, like a, a rectangular brick shape. Um, so, um, that just feels great. I don't know. I kind of have anything else to explain for it. Um, of course, uh, nothing beats the original, but, um, you know, if the, the cables were longer, I mean, it'd be, be so awesome. So, uh, anyway, so yeah, so basically, uh, you know, this is kind of Metal Gear Solid, uh, well, first Metal Gear game, that is, um, so great game. But, uh, basically, yeah, uh, controller feels good. So let's move on to the next game. So next game here is obviously, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Of course, I gotta go with Michelangelo, it's my favorite. So uh, let's try it on this one here. Um, it's a little bit different. Uh, this one's a little bit 
more common for me because I played this a lot uh, back in the day with my cousin as well. Uh, he actually had an NES uh, back in the day, so um, you know, so I'm very familiar with this game. Now I'm not very good at it, guys. So again, bear with me here. Um, you know, try my best here. Come on, come on. Get... You know, it's crazy how uh, back in the day these were like the graphics. These were it. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, the younger generation probably don't uh, don't see. You know, I guess the the you know the awesomeness of these graphics that that these were the top these are the top graphics back then you know and uh you know i do remember having some challenges on some of these games you know and i feel like a lot of the older games are a little bit are a little bit more challenging especially you know because of the um you know the graphics or whatnot uh sometimes it was very hard to see certain areas where you had to go to but uh you know like just games like these are just classics you know and and again like i said uh you know, I used to go to my cousin's house and we used to, you know, play this quite a bit. Um, you know, both of our favorite characters, you know, were the Ninja Turtle characters, you know. And, of course, uh, my favorite was always Michelangelo. So that's why usually I use him on, on majority of the games, any kind of Ninja Turtle games I have. But, uh, guys, uh, going back to the controller, <laughs> why you guys are here to watch this video is... Um, it's a really good controller. I mean, it's I really do enjoy it. I like their products from Abido. Um, you know, so far I've been pretty impressed with a lot of their stuff that I've purchased from them. Um, definitely go check it out. I'll put a link to them in the Amazon description uh, or the you know place to buy it from Amazon uh, where I got mine. And also um, go check out uh, Abido's website as well. Um, you know, they got a lot of great stuff there. Um, so. Definitely recommend this uh, to go pick one up if you're uh, like playing on original hardware and also on the newer stuff as well, like the clone consoles and whatnot. Uh, definitely check them out for controllers uh, for the uh, NES and Super Nintendo and uh, Sega Genesis as well. So, uh, all right, guys, um, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for commenting on the video. If you want to drop a comment, that'd be great. Um, please hit that like button, subscribe button as well. Uh, hit that bell icon so that way you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that being said, guys, we'll see you next time.